my queen, come look. At last we have found the princess of Genovia. Oh no, this can't be her. Who raised such a wild, crazy child? It looks like we got a lot of cleaning up to do. We must keep you for a very long time. It will take a lot to transform you into a princess. Me? A princess? Surprisingly, you are the princess of Genovia. Now we must clean you up, nice like the princess that you are. We must keep you away from whoever has been raising you up and causing you to act in such a way. Oh no, I must go home. You can't keep me. I like the way that I am. Let's start by cleaning up that face and doing that hair. I've never been introduced to makeup before. We must also find much nicer clothes for you. But I never cared for such clothes before. Caleb, why don't you go fetch some of your sister's clothes? It will suit this princess here much better. Wow, she is almost unrecognizable now. Erase whoever else you had in mind. I believe the prince will suit you much better. Oh no, there's no way I will leave what I have back home. I truly love him. Oh, that doesn't matter. We must have you with someone who is civilized, cleaned up, and classy. Oh, I know the prince is just the right guy. I would like to ask permission to marry the princess. Of course, that is just what I propose. If it is fine with the queen. All is fine with me. Whatever to keep the girl right. I would be glad to propose as soon as I can. Someone called the princess. We must tell her once about her marriage. I've already overheard and I absolutely disagree. I think I'm well worth giving it a shot. I know we just met, but I already know I would be a great husband, and the way that they transformed you would make a great wife for me. Yes, yes, yes. we must arrange a marriage, marriage soon. soon. I'm sorry, but there is no way. I just met the man. I certainly don't love him. It isn't about love now. We have to find someone who will keep you proper, and he is the perfect person. If I have no other choices. Well, now we must continue working on you. How I hate what my life has become. We must find a dress for you to get married in. I'm so lucky to find the woman that I'm going to marry now. That's really good. We must teach the princess how to act with her new husband. You must obey him at all times. You must agree and never oppose him. He owns you now. Oh, whatever. I'm sure she will turn out just fine. I've accepted how I'll marry the prince, but I'm not sure how to tell the man I have at home. You don't even have to tell him. He will know, and if he really loves you, he will let you go. I know I'm not the man you originally loved, but I have so much to offer to you. I promise you will be happy in the end. Change is always hard at the beginning, but this must be for the best. Just forgive the princess if she misbehaves. We will try our very best to make this princess into a civilized lady. We want the best for you two. Although, I guess the only thing I enjoy about this current life is that I love trying on more dresses and jewelry. I wish they offered me all these luxuries at home. But I can give you that and so much more. If you can offer me all that, and more than that, that might be the only way I can enjoy the time with you. I will keep my promise. As long as you and the princess shall keep your promises, me and the queens heavily promote this marriage. I promise I shall not let anyone down. She will be happy she loved whoever she did at the end. So let's walk around so I can show everyone my new wife. We must do everything in our power to keep her away from her old family. She must not be reminded of them. They do not exist anymore. Get people to lock up that filthy man she was in love with. Oh no, where's the princess? Where's, where'd what? she go? Oh no.